study section 3 task areas in educational management Introduction I know by now you should be able to define management, education, educational management. In addition, you should be able to enumerate the processes of educational management. You may use a few seconds to reflect on these terms before this session. In this study session, we shall examine task areas of educational management, educational management and the characteristic of a good manager. Learning outcomes for study section 3. At the end of this study session, you should be able to discuss task areas in educational management, explain educational manager and its roles Discuss characteristics or qualities of a good manager. Task areas of educational management. Do you know that by virtue of your studentship in the Department of Educational Management, you are a manager in making? Hope you have listed out task of educational management as requested in the pretext. After this lecture, you may compare yours with points highlighted. Babalola 2006 highlights the task areas in educational management as follows. 1. Career management. That manager must know how to handle his career to make the best out of it. 2. Change management. Change is necessary and educational managers need to appreciate various types of educational change, understand how to decide the best course of action and how to handle resistance to good educational changes. 3. Consumers management. Educational managers and their staff must learn about how to communicate with people in writing and through telephone, handle complaints and appreciate consumers' legislation. Good educational managers are good decision makers. They need the skills to define educational problems and issues, gather information create options or alternative solution, evaluate options, make the decision, implement the decision with people and follow up and evaluate. 5. Resource management. This involves carefulness and effectiveness in handling educational resources. 6. Staff and student management. It is the attraction and retention of the best students and staff. 7. Standard quality management. This is being in control of quality to ensure adherence to stipulated educational standards. 8. Meeting management. This is an effective and efficient handling of meetings. 9. Team management. It ensures that people are brought and work together as one. 10. Workload management. This is the responsibility of a manager to carefully handle workload to avoid over and underutilization of workers. Educational manager. On the other hand, a, a manager is an individual who holds a position of authority in an organization and makes decisions about allocation of human and material resources. A professional manager is an expert trained and experienced enough to adeptly manage any type of organization, be it corporate house, a hotel, a social service organization, a hospital, or a government agency. A manager is well versed with both the art and science of management. Box 3.1 
Definition of Educational Manager Educational Manager is an individual who holds a position of authority in an organization and makes decisions about allocation of human and material resources. A manager must be highly skilled in the art of optimally utilizing the human resources because they are most valuable assets of any organization. Therefore, educational managers take charge of both human and material resources to achieve educational objectives. The effectiveness of a manager determines the extent of goal achievement in any organization, either in business or educational organization. Qualities and characteristics of a good manager These are some of the qualities and characteristics of a good manager. 1. Self-motivation 2. Integrity 3. Dependability and reliability 4. Optimism 5. Confidence 6. Calmness 7. Flexibility 8. Knowledge of the organization where he works 9. Organization 10. Outspokenness 11. Active listener 12. Team player 13. Respect 14. Collaboration 15. Value others Five, this isn't referring to giving a speech in the front of a room. Instead, a more subtle approach is to understand other people's motivations and responding to them. Six, a good manager will consider each employee individually and match their strengths with their task and compensation. Seven, a big part of a manager's role is putting together a puzzle. The puzzle pieces are people, tasks, goals, and data. Putting all of these together involves creating strategies, distributing tasks, supervising the execution of, of it all, and providing feedback. To succeed in this task, managers must be able to make first-rate decisions. This refers to thinking rationally, considering variables, and creating a strategy accordingly. Summary of study section 3. In this study session, you have learned the following, the task areas of educational management. These task areas are career, management, change management, consumers management, decision making management, 
resource management, staff and student management, standard quality management, meeting management, team management, and workload management. A professional manager is an expert trained and experienced enough to adeptly manage any type of organization. Some of the qualities and characteristics of a good manager are self-motivation, integrity, dependability, reliability, optimism, confidence, calmness, flexibility, knowledge of the organization where he works, organization, outspokenness, active listener, team player, respect, and collaboration. This is the end of study section 3. Thanks for listening.